They're both so good and so spooky. This is really a day of spooky lesbians, isn't it? What's up, beautiful people? My name is Jenna, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I know we're kind of revamping this channel. There's a lot of really exciting things coming, so if you stuck around, thank you so much. If you're new here, I'm so excited for what the future has for this channel, and I am so excited for the video today because I like to do monthly-ish short film reactions, but this one is different because these include some short films made by people that I love very dearly. Um, I love filmmakers in general, especially queer filmmakers, but, but I particularly personally and professionally love these filmmakers, so I'm so excited to get to share some of my friends' work with you. As I'm sure you know, producing a short film is a massive effort that takes tons of money and tons of people and tons of you know care for the project, so it's a massive feat to even accomplish producing it. It's a huge feat to go through post-production and actually complete a short film. And these films have also gone through a film festival circuit and distribution, and that whole process is also a huge accomplishment. So I want to congratulate these filmmakers on what they've accomplished with their projects, um, you know, prior even to the digital release of them, and I'm so excited that they are finally out on the internet for the public to view so that I can share them with you. The first one that I want to talk about is called Psycho Baby. It's written and directed by my friend Charlotte Kennett. And the logline is, when Andra, a diagnosed psychopath, receives a love letter from Sadie, an undiagnosed love addict, her natural state is shaken as she confronts the dull prospects of romance. This film is beautiful from the very first shot, and it does an intro piece extremely well. I'm immediately hooked into the story. Like, that is how it's done. This part absolutely killed me. It's so fun when you can see, you know, your friend's personality and humor in their work because I think that's just a testament to how authentic their work is and their storytelling. I really, I really love the use of, like, not stock footage, but, footage, you know, footage from these old films like this. Um, and it goes to show how you can make the world of your short film so much bigger, too, um, which I think Charlotte does really well in this in a bunch of different moments. This effect is crazy. This is so cool. I've never seen this effect done before. Absolute chef's kiss. The lighting, the cinematography is beautiful. The costume design and just like characterization really elevates it. And that, again, is a theme through all these films that I picked today. And you'll really get to see how it makes the world so much richer and like more specific. Um, and I, you know, we're only five minutes in and like I already feel like I really know these characters. Even though we know that this is a disaster and doomed, like I'm still rooting for them so hard. I'm rooting for them. Okay, what the hell? This flower park scene is stunning. Like the makeup, the design, the show, like, hello? Yes kiss oh my god yes get it look at that lighting oh my god yes get it I love <clears throat> I'm choking up I can't even speak okay steamy I love sapphic love scenes obviously we know this um <laughs> And there's just something so fun about getting to see, like, the female gaze personified in intimate scenes, and it will never get old. Like, the unbuckling of the belt. They look stunning. Whatever, like, filter they're using or whatever to make it, like, soft, like, ugh. Oh. It's just like, I know where it's going, but I'm rooting for them so hard. Okay, this, like, lying and staring into each other's eyes thing, though, is, like, so me. Honestly. <laughs> Relatable. I feel so connected right now. Me as fuck. Sometimes love's not enough, and I think that that's, like, a really valid and, like, important message in romantic movies. That's really sad. Thank you, Charlotte, for breaking my heart. Um... <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. I absolutely see why it won the awards that it did. Like every minute in this film was worth it and paid off and it didn't feel like a long short film. Like this felt like a movie movie. A movie movie and I'm so excited. I keep doing this. Why? Stop. Stop. No more chefs kissing. I'm not even Italian. I just, 
I'm trying to express my love for my friend's art that is so good. Psycho Baby was just released online. Please go watch it at the link because I cannot, like I said, fit the 21, 23 minutes and 8 seconds of greatness all into this video. But trust me, it is absolutely worth the watch. And Charlotte is also someone to watch out for for all of her future work because, damn, if this was a taste of it, give it to me. So that film was a very poignant piece about mental health. I wanted to talk a little bit about health in general. As you guys know, I work with the Better Internet Initiative every single month to bring you guys fact-checked, accurate, important information. So this month I wanted to talk a little bit about healthcare because the window for open enrollment for healthcare just closed. So it's official that the number of people who signed up for insurance through the Affordable Care Act's marketplace was at a record high this season for the third year in a row. The total for the latest open enrollment period marks a 30% increase from last year. This includes 5 million new signups and 16 million people with the 2023 ACA plan coverage. Some of the biggest increases in enrollment tied to the health care reform law known as Obamacare occurred in states that have yet to expand Medicaid to more low-income people. Texas had the largest increase of enrolled people at 1.1 million. Florida was second with an increase of more than 986,000 people signing up for coverage. And then West Virginia, which has also expanded Medicaid, saw the largest percentage increase in enrollment at 80%. So we hear a lot of talk about getting rid of Obamacare, but not a lot of talk about how many of us rely on it for coverage, especially in states where the lawmakers are regularly railing against the Affordable Care Act. So let that be your dose of healthcare news for the day, and let's get back into it. This second short film actually is also about mental health, um, and it is called Gianna and it was written and starred in by my good friend Rivka Reyes. So many people that I love were behind the scenes of this, and I was so excited when I completed their festival route, and it is finally out for all of us to feast our eyes upon, so let's get into it. Gianna is a queer horror comedy that follows Gina, a Filipina Gemini doing her best as she takes the advice of her sliding scale therapist to spend a day with her inner saboteur. Enter Gianna. Will they make peace, or does Gianna, like, literally want Gina dead? An iconic logline that is, like, super spunky and goes to show how far that can get you alone. Off the bat, again, amazing intro shots. And hello, Margaret Cho? Excuse? With the chihuahua? Okay, iconic. Um, this film is shot so beautifully. Shout out to Vaughn, a DP who actually filmed... Um, Secrets, the short film on my YouTube channel. Again, a class act and a punchy intro that gets you right into it. We've all been here. Damn, I just can't get over how beautiful this whole thing is. Oh, the nails stop. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I just can't even wrap my head around how this was done, but I'm so glad that it was. Like, I'm so impressed. Hats off to Rivka for being able to play these. Like, I just can't even imagine the process. It's so impressive and looks so good. Like, how? <laughs> Her necklace, stop. Stop. This is so good. As someone who's sober and in recovery, I love stories that are, like, related to it with characters in, it, in that world that, like, are relatable. Obviously this experience <laughs> isn't, but just, I, I can't put my finger on it. Again, it's like the authenticity and it's like seeing the artist and their art um, and it being like, you know, from what I know of them, like such a amazing reflection of like their boiled down, like ah, I can't put my finger on it, it's so good. Oh my god, the tension. This is, again, the the sapphic gaze, the queer gaze, G-A-Z-E, not gaze, G-A-Y-S. <laughs> I, oh, there, oh, 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 they're doing it. Oh, they did that. Oh, my God, they're, do, they're doing that. Oh, my God. I'm blushing. Oh my god. Oh, this, the stunts? This is crazy. I'm scared of Rivka right now. I'm trembling. Margaret Cho's dog should be too. Sequel when? For both of these. 
Sequel when? Feature film length when? Please. Now. Ooh, the split. Ooh, my god. Oh, I have chills. So good. Gianna was distributed through Film Shortage um, in December of last year, so still relatively new to the online scene. Please go watch. Give them your views. Give them your likes. Give them your comments. Um, they deserve the world. Follow the filmmakers. Please. Go watch. The last little thing that I want to plug isn't a full short film, but it is a trailer that dropped for a short film called Fall Risk. Starring Victoria Pedretti and Caitlin Stacy, and I am deeply obsessed with both of their work, like their total body of work. Um, both of them have also worked, this is irrelevant, but Victoria has worked with Quinn, the audio erotica app, and Caitlin has directed things in that vein and like I think that that is so cool. Already off the bat I'm hooked. They're both so good and so spooky. This is really a day of spooky lesbians isn't it? I'm absolutely intrigued by this like I want I want a two-hour film. I know that I'm gonna be vastly upset by how short it lasts. It will never be long enough. Oh 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 my god. Oh, she's so good. This is going to be so good. I cannot wait for this to come out. Um, they said that it's going to be in the 2024 film festival circuit. Um, when I tell you we can't wait. Oh, spooky lesbians. Yes, give it to me. So again, congratulations to Charlotte and Rivka and everyone involved with these projects. They were amazing. I feel so honored to get to share my friend's art on here um, and put you guys, like, put you guys on amazing art and amazing work that you might not have seen yet. I hope you find your next favorite queer filmmakers, like that's my mission with doing these things and so it's even more exciting when I can like very confidently point you in the direction of people who are going to be making amazing queer art for a very long time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video again and sticking around through this kind of era of change on my YouTube channel and everything that is to come. I'm so excited to tell you more and I cannot wait and I just appreciate you guys very much. Bye!